Okay, this is our uh, AgriFab 48 inch air rate, plug aerator. It's uh, always done me well, but you know, I've had a problem with the original uh, one not really being able to go over like stones or driveways. So what I did is I asked a friend of mine to see if he could um, weld up some um, three-point adapter to it. And uh, I found that that works pretty good. So he basically took a bunch of uh, angle iron, put it in key spots here, and uh, it's held up pretty well so far. So I've done uh, my lawn here, which is probably about an acre. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Go do a neighbor's lawn and see if I can't get some video of it in action there. But uh, it's really nice because with these three-point hitches on these uh, John Deere tractors, you can, uh, of course, use your uh, up-down control on your uh, um, rear hitch there, or here, um, rear three-point, and have this go up and down at will. Okay, and this is a, a John Deere 2320. Works really good. Okay, so I'll see if I can get some shots of this in action. All right, here we are in the middle of May uh, 2021, and we're going to show how to work this uh, aerator here on a three-point hitch uh, with a tractor. So one bad thing about doing it this way is when you have it on a three-point hitch, you cannot really turn the tractor because the sway bars are limited on the, uh, the back of the uh, three-point uh, assembly so that you can't really... Uh, sway very well but it works very well with uh going in straight lines so we're going to go ahead and show that now i'm going to hop up on the tractor and uh have a go at it
Okay. Jim Suit. Okay, so here's the three point hitch uh, mounted on an AgriFab 48 inch wide um, core aerator. It works very well. I had to, uh, you know, get a couple things from my uh, Category 3 uh, quick hitch here to make it work. Um, most importantly, up here on the top link, um, I had to get an adapter here to make it fit with this uh, three-point hitch I got off of um, like eBay for I think it was uh, $70 and then I had my friend uh, do the welding on the frame and it works really really well with uh, you know the uh, the drop action on the uh, the tractor so just drop it, it engages the ground does really really well definitely way to go again the only thing is is because of the lack of sway on the incredible um, the um, the lawn really really has responded I use spike aerators in the past but uh, just pulling these little plugs out like this um, you can see that uh, you know the uh, the plugs are of substantial size here um, it makes a big difference on, you know, how well the, the lawn uh, takes its fertilizer and the, uh, the nutrients from the rain and everything. And the compaction really eases up. And it helps uh, level the lawn out, too. So uh, it does really, really well. Um, you know, when you first do this, this, this grass was just cut like the other day. And uh, you can see, yeah, I've got those little plugs, you know, here and there in the lawn. Cut it like mid-range or maybe a little bit high. So we do have, you know, plugs everywhere in the grass. But, uh, you know, one or two rains in a week or two, that's all going to be gone. And it'll be more leveled out. So hope uh, everybody enjoyed this video. Um, all right. Thank you.